Once you have configured and verified EAPS, you may need to make some changes. You may disable EAPS globally, disable one EAPS domain, delete an EAPS domain, rename an existing EAPS domain, unconfigure an EAPS primary or secondary ring port for an EAPS domain. At this point, you've done all the basic configuration and enabled EAPS on the ring. There are some additional commands an administrator needs to be aware of, such as setting timers and actions, and debug messages. Also, let's see how EAPS can be applied in more complex ring environments. We'll look at some environments with multiple domains, and we'll discuss shared port. Using the shared port feature, Extreme Networks solves potential superloop situations and interconnected ring topologies. Here's how to manually configure the hello timer and fail timer the master node uses for EAPS health check packets that are circulated around the ring for an EAPS domain. You would enter the following commands. Configure EAPS, the EAPS domain name, hello time, and the amount of seconds. Configure EAPS, the EAPS domain name, fail time, and the amount of seconds. To configure the action taken if there is a break in the ring, you would enter the following command. Configure EAPS, domain name, fail time expiry action, and there's two choices. Either it will open the secondary port or it will send an alert. Note that sending an alert is the default setting. Here's how to configure debug messages. To log EAPS messages using Extreme XOS, enter the following commands. Configure log filter, filter name, add events, EAPS severity, debug hyphen summary, enable log debug hyphen mode. When using extremeware switches, enable EAPS debug messages are going to be sent to the Systol server by entering the following command. Configure debug hyphen trace EAPS 2. As shown here, a single ring might have several EAPS domains running over it. For instance, this has four switches and four domains. Multiple EAPS domains and rings can be joined to form a single layer 2 entity. Protected VLANs can span multiple rings, and each ring contains its own EAPS domain with a separate controller VLAN. Multiple EAPS domains with two common switches look like this. A topology with two switches sharing a common link adds resiliency in case one of the common switches fails. In this configuration, there is a potential for a superloop. Shared port solves the superloop problem without using STP. Shared port uses a controller node and a partner node in its configuration. Shared port applies to all versions of Extreme XOS. Pause here to examine the diagram for as long as you need. Adding a shared port to an existing EAPS configuration is easy. We've already completed steps 1 through 6. Although we won't do hands-on configuration of a shared port here, these are the steps that you would take. Create an EAPS domain. Configure a switch in the ring as the master. Configure all the remaining switches as transit nodes. Configure the primary and secondary ports. Add one control VLAN and all the protected VLANs to the EAPS domain. Enable the EAPS domain. And then you could create the shared port. Steps 7 through 9. Create the EAPS shared port. Assign the EAPS shared port to a common link. Configure the shared port on the mode. And that's it. Here are the commands for a shared port configuration. You must configure the partner node first and then the controller. Also, here are a few more shared port configuration rules. Regarding the common link, controller and partner EAPS shared port instances on either side of a common link must have the same link ID. Each common link must have a unique EAPS shared port link ID. EAPS shared port modes on either side of a link must be different from each other, controller and partner. And they cannot be configured on the secondary port of an EAPS master. Configuration rules on the switch are up to two EAPS shared port instances are allowed per switch. No more than one EAPS shared port controller can be on a switch. And you can have up to four valid EAPS shared port configurations on a switch. Here's an example of a shared port core configuration. There are four EAPS domains shown here with two shared ports. Pause as long as you need here before checking out the right angle configuration. Here's an example of a shared port right angle configuration. 
Four EPS domains are shown here with two shared ports and a right angle configuration. Pause as long as you need here before moving on. Thanks for viewing the EPS online demo. This is the end of this training module. Visit the Extreme Networks website for information about our other exciting networking products. Extreme Networks. Tomorrow's network. Today.